quick unboxing for the Asus Dual Band N900. The model is RTN66U. The reason we bought this older router is one, to flash it with DDWRT, and second, to show you guys how we can accommodate a computer that does not have a Wi Fi card but still can connect to the Wi Fi. So this might be a longer video, we might cut it into two or even three halves. Let's begin with the unboxing. So here's the box, let's see what's inside. Nice black box, oh come on. Let's throw this guy away, a white box inside. And here we are, so stop. Documentation driver CD useless here's the guy we want to see let's see how it looks let me put it on the side and see what else is in there so we have what looks like a stand yep some more documentation again useless Wi-Fi range antennas three of them Oh, it has three. I thought it had four. A uh, power brick with Asus branding. And, and we have an Ethernet cable. I am assuming it's a CAT5, so I probably would be using a different one, but hey, we can start with this one. So that's pretty much it. Let's see what the router has there. On the back we have one, two, three, four Ethernet ports, one internet in, two USBs, a parse part, and the three range antennas. It does come with a WPS button and a power button separately. The front doesn't look like anything. These here might be the lights, bunch of them showing what Ethernet port is in use and if we're using the 2.4 or the five gigahertz one. The air vents at the bottom on the side looks well vented and that's about it again guys this is the rtn66u it's an older version pretty cheap in the market right now i think we bought it somewhere in between the range of 50 to 70 bucks us here's another viewing angle the reason we bought this slightly lower priced router was to flash it with ddwrt and the reason to do that is primarily we want to enhance its capabilities as a router, as an access point, as a modifier, as well as a repeater. And secondly, to get more of an admin control. But the precise reason for us to do that is we are planning to get one of our gaming computers that does not have a Wi-Fi card to connect to the Wi-Fi through an ethernet cable. I'll de definitely explain how we are going to do it. Right now, let's quickly go through the specifications and we'll probably go into another video to understand how we configure it and then connect it. With this router, it does come with an interface of one gigabit WAN port, four gigabit LAN ports, and two high-speed USB, even though they are 2.0. It has three range extenders, dual band detachable antennas, has a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz capability. It runs on 802.11n, 802.11ag, and 802.11b. The encryption is 64 to 128 bits, though we would change it while we are in DDWRT. Primarily on stock, we can use WPA, WPA2, PSK, WPA2 Enterprise, as well as WPS. The management systems includes DHCP server. It does have VPN server available. The size and weight of this thing is 207 into 148.8 into 35.5 by 8.15 into 5.86 into 1.40 inches. The weight, 450 grams or 0.99 LBs. The finish looks like a carbon mat, pretty decent looking with an Asus branding and its name on top. Let's get this connected and we'll go from there.